Okay, looks like I'm black. So today I'm going to be doing a uh, something a little bit different, uh, playing against uh, Triton Baduk, who also makes YouTube videos. And we're just going to play 100 moves. And then we're going to see who um, is ahead according to uh, two different AIs. And then uh, we'll just decide the winner from that. But mostly just going to focus on the opening and the, the moves and see what happens. So we played this one, which I kind of don't like. I prefer when they play in this corner because I like to play this move with the, uh, the facing three fours like he just did. And when they play this one, I'm kind of forced to uh, switch to this one, which is still okay, but I don't like it as much as the, uh, the facing ones. So here he can probably enclose a corner or he can approach. If he approaches, I might just Tanuki. So I don't really like to pincer. And if I play a Kasumi here, I'm kind of building towards an area that I don't think is very interesting. Because this is facing in this direction. So I don't really like building on this side because it's the, it's the least valuable side. So I can also try like kicking and just take the corner, but then I feel like I help him develop over here. And maybe I would like to play over here sometime. So I think Tanuki is probably what I like best. And so I'll just go here. And if he does press me down, I can just crawl or maybe even jump. And I'll be okay. He'll have a wall facing this way, but it doesn't seem too useful. And if he does something similar where he plays over here, it's the same reason I don't like this move is he's developing the lower value side. He can consider a pincer, which I probably would just Tanuki again. And see me as a, uh, a similar idea where he also did not want to play here. And being the first one to press down, I'm not sure if I like it. Because later I think I prefer to just live in the corner. And I can maybe try attaching, but I haven't really liked this attach recently. But it could be okay, because this side is not too valuable. And if we play the Joseki out, I'll get some moves over here, which could help with this. Which maybe it would be a good idea to try and press down first, and then attach. Because then if I get moves over here, then I'm kind of developing something here. But I'm not sure if I would get Sente. So if I have to play something over here, and then he gets to play something over here first, then this area is not as big. And he could also just block this way and force me to take this side, which I am taking the lower value side, but if I can get it in Sente, it's kind of for free. Hmm. Kind of like it. I'll try it. Playing over here just doesn't seem too interesting at the moment. And normally here you just push, and then he can push again or jump. But normally it ends the same. I guess he could also just keep pushing and trying to get Sentai, but he would just give me a bigger wall. And I'm not sure that would be too useful for him. Okay, so he does this one. 
So I guess he doesn't want me to uh, push on top and get even more on this side. And so I think I'll go ahead and play the attach. And see what he does. Yeah, I think this one's the best because if he plays on the uh, the outside, then I get moves over here, and he gets this side, which is just not as useful. So he's forcing me to take the lower value side, but. This was already his corner, so I shouldn't get too good of a result anyway. And Joseki is just throwing. And here, I think Joseki would be playing something over here. I'm not sure I really like that, but letting him play something over here also doesn't feel very good. I could try to just grow it as big as possible. And that could also work. Because if I play over here, I'm not really gaining too many points. So I think I want to make it as big as possible to make him invade and start a fight. And I think I can profit more that way than just playing here or here. Because even if I play here, there's still like attachments, there's invasions. But I don't want to just leave this group by itself, because if he just invades right away and I don't already have a stone here, then I can't really attack. So I'll just jump. So it's kind of tempting to want to do something over here, so maybe he'll shoulder hit. Uh, I'm also looking forward to playing something over here to maybe try and like connect these together to build something here. So the two biggest areas feel like something over here and something over here. But I feel like something over here would be bigger. But it's also kind of falling for what I want. Because I want him to invade here so that I can attack. Instead, he tanukis. Okay. So I guess maybe he wants to build a wall here that he can use to maybe help out with something over here. I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm just going to push. And I'm going to push again. And push again. Because I'm trying to get Sentai. I don't really care about jumping here, or even if he plays here. The main thing is, if he turns here, he's not really making anything here. And I can get Sente to play a move around here, which again is growing this area, and is also reducing his wall. Uh, so he will be able to probably turn here, and I probably need to live in the corner. But I think that's probably okay for me. But I'm not sure. I don't want to play too close to the wall, because then when he pincers, it could get messy. But I don't want to play too close, because then he just approaches here, and then it feels like he's getting a lot. So it's hard to find the balance. But I think, I think this would be too far. And this feels too close. Because he just plays here, and then it feels like he can just reduce or invade. So I think I'll try this one. And pretty sure this won't die. Because if he goes here, I can just jump out. And if he turns, I just jump into the corner. And then after this one, this kind of connection just feels very painful to me because he's not really making too many points, and he can add another move, but it just feels like he spent too many moves there to not really get that much.
So it's starting to feel like he's going to have to invade at some point. Not quite sure where, though. This is kind of hard to attack. But playing something over here probably is still OK. Because this area is big, but I can't really take it in one move. And there's still like attachments and pretty easy to kind of just jump in here and reduce. So I don't think he needs to do it um, right away. But it is looking scarier and scarier. This move is also kind of annoying. Because if I kind of just play something here and I kind of let him live on the side, he can still reduce the center. So I'm not quite sure what I would, uh, how to play against this. Because I could kick and start a fight, but again, he's running here, and if he lives, I just kind of lose all my points. But I don't really need that many points, because he has this corner here, which I can still reduce. And he has this corner, which is a solid corner, but it's not too big. Uh, this group looks like it's not going to make too many points. And the only area he really has potential is over here, but if he turns and he tries to make it, he, he has to spend too many moves to make like 10 points or less. Okay, so he does invade. And here, I really want to try and connect over here. Not sure if I need to. But I kind of want to just push and then slide. And then he kind of has a, uh, a sort of a heavy group. Uh, and if he jumps, I could also maybe clamp. But main thing is I want to try and just take my corner. Uh, if I go here, it works, but it doesn't really have a a really good connection. So I would like to play the clamp. And if he pushes, he goes here, I can kind of cut some. The clamp should work, although he'll get a little bit extra on the outside. But it's still a pretty weak group. And he could have reduced it anyway by just playing on the, uh, the sector line here. So he's getting to reduce a little bit extra, but I still should make quite a bit of points. And then when we when we get to move 100, I'll just have to find out <laughs> who is actually winning or not. Because with AI, you never know. Like For me, this still feels kind of even. But AI could say white's ahead by 5 or black's ahead by 10. You never know. Okay, so I guess he's trying to get a little bit fancy. So the normal move, I think, would have just been here. I go down, and then he jumps. And then I would have to decide between blocking here or Tanuki, which I probably would Tanuki because it's already open at the bottom. I'm already out to the center. So trying to make points here when he can just monkey jump or something just doesn't feel that good. Although I guess he can't really monkey jump because I think I can uh, throw in and push and capture. And here, I don't want to let him connect to this too easy. And I for sure don't want this to get cut off. So I'm thinking I might want to just push and push. He can reduce my corner a bit, but it'll have two weak groups. And even if I lose some points, I'll be able to control the center. And that seems easier than just like playing here, let him connect, 
and then I have to figure out how to live over here. But we'll find out. Yep, and push. Can I double hunt it? I can, but I'm not sure it's good. I might want to just get rid of the corner, which I suppose could be bad if I don't gain enough on the outside. Just extending doesn't seem very fun. But it does keep his group weaker. I get to keep some points. Probably a bit over concentrated. It's hard to tell. <laughs> I think I want to do this one because I can still connect here. I don't think he can disconnect. I'm a little bit over concentrated, but being over concentrated when he has two weak groups is. Probably not terrible. So I think I'll just extend. And then if he jumps here, I probably just focus on connecting. And he still has to worry about uh, living. I don't think I can kill, but probably if he just tanukis randomly. And again, I don't need too many points, because like I was saying, he doesn't really have that much either. Like this and this are probably around the same. He has this corner, and I'll have some at least points here. So that should be around the same. And then a few points here and there, plus Komi. So I, I still think it's probably an even game. I feel like Black has... I feel like Black has a small advantage, but not much... But it's also a, uh, a harder advantage to pull off because I have to do something with this center. And if I don't do enough with it, I could be behind. But I feel like it's a better position for black, but slightly. I'm not sure he can Hane. Yeah, the Hanes I cut. I think even if this gets cut off, this would die, which would probably be too much. For sure, he has to extend. This feels like a mistake. I would have for sure pushed here. Is This just feels huge. Then this is just too small, and I have this wall here. So now I have to do something with it over here. But I kind of feel like I want to just push. Because if he gets to play here and I have to play here, he gets a lot of forcing moves. So if I play here and he just runs away, he says a weak group, I can attack. And then if I get to play a move here next, this is just a lot of territory. So this could be small, but it feels big. I could also play on the left side over here, which is also big, but it just feels... Unimportant at the moment. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is good, but I'll play it. it. It just feels like a very urgent point to me.
Because this is where white would use to make uh, sabaki. Though if he kind of just tanukis and reduces, maybe it's not big enough. We'll have to find out in the review. <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely a little bit harder for black, I think, because I have to do something with this potential. And I did lose a corner, and he gained like 10 points, so it's like a 20-point difference. But I still feel like it's close. And I did get stronger over here, so maybe I can consider attaching here, seeing if he'll give me a cutting point. Or maybe jump here first and then here. I'm not sure. And we are currently at move 51. So, only 49 moves left. Which is weird, because it definitely doesn't feel like we've played 51 moves. But, uh, I guess most of the corners are already filled. Okay, so he does go back and play here. So, hmm. I kind of want to jump here and kind of force him to defend. And then I should still be okay to live over here. There's still some Aji here too that I can use to invade. Like, this one feels like he played a little bit too far. So I think I want to jump. Because if I can play something over here, this group's not 100% alive. Definitely probably won't be able to kill, but it has some weakness. And then cutting these two groups off is also making this group weaker if I get to play a move around here. It also gives me something to run and connect to. So it feels like a good move, but not sure. Well, uh, we'll definitely be interesting to see what uh, AI thinks. <laughs> yeah, yep. And then this was what I was kind of hoping for because he defends but being able to play the Atari and all this kind of helps make me a little bit stronger and then I'll kick because I don't think he can kill this and I get some more territory here and then he is also still a little bit weak although he's probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking over here with this group because he just kind of Ataris, and it's not as uh, weak as you would want it to be. But I think because I'm stronger here than he is on this side, because he has one stone here, while I have a very strong connected group here. So I think the strength here, and then him also being cut off, makes this group weaker than this group. And if he has to spend time defending this one, he doesn't have time to attack this. Okay, so he decides to run away, which I guess he's trying to defend his group while also putting pressure on this one. Which I'm kind of tempted 
just play something like this, which is starting to get me some eye shape. But then if he plays this peep, it's kind of annoying. So I kind of want to... It's a bit risky, but I kind of want to see if I, I can cut this off and maybe get some extra potential in the center. And I think I can still live here connect. But just defending doesn't feel very good. I can also play low, but if he kind of just kicks and runs out, I can't really build anything here. So I kind of want to see if he'll jump out this way. And then I can still kind of peep here and maybe play here and defend in a more active way. And then he still has to worry about this group getting cut off. So yeah, I think I will try this. Because I do think he played too far with this one. But I'm sure it's not uh, a huge mistake. Suppose he could try and peep, or maybe attach, and try to attack. But I think I can still kind of run this way and maybe connect, or run out to the center. And they do say that... Uh, Offense is the best defense, right? So I played offense instead of defending, so he's going to play offense instead of defending. And if he tries to connect under, I believe I'm just going to sacrifice. Because I don't care too much about this. And if I can cut this off, I'm okay with that. Wasn't going to make any points here anyway. And getting moves out here to the center is also helping defend. Um, he can still do like a clamp here, and I can threaten maybe a co. So I don't think it'd be terrible. But if he pushes and connects, that's probably not good for him, because I probably just have to uh, defend the cut. And trying to make the co happen right away is also a bad idea. Because if he just connects, I have to defend, and then he has a push and cut. But I can probably peep first. Because he's definitely not going to let me push through. And then I think I'll just run away. Because this is now weak, and then I can run out while attacking. This also defends against the cut later. So I think I'll play this one. And if I need to, I still have some eye shape here. But I don't think he can be too aggressive. Because I probably will just push and cut. And if he can't kill me, I think that's game over. Because I would be gaining a lot of points here. So I think he just has to run. And then I run. Okay, I did not expect that one. So I guess here... He's saying I can connect under this way or this way. Hmm. I'm not sure. I kind of want to play here. This might be greedy because there is a cut here. But I feel like if I can live here, 
it'll be okay because I make a ton of points here, or at least have potential to. And I think I can always kind of peep here and disconnect him. So I don't think he has time to uh, to try and cut and fight. Okay. And then I'll just sacrifice this if he's going to let me take everything here. Just jump. I do have some weakness here, but I'm not too worried about it. And if he wants to capture this, he still has to add a move here. Although I suppose he can still has a wall here, so he could just jump in, but... He still has some weaknesses with this group he has to worry about. And this feels too far. So I think I have to peep and see what he does and then try and cut it off. And I have a strong wall here, strong wall here. So just playing passively and just trying to make points is not going to be good enough. So I, I have to fight. And there's still like a push and threatening a cut here. And I'm also pretty happy if he just kind of connects here and lets me cut this off because I believe he shouldn't be able to live here. Uh, I feel like he, I feel like this was a little bit desperate. So I think he might think he's losing, but not sure. It is move 87, so 13 more moves, and then we'll we'll have the answer. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. The board looks uh, like the first 50 moves, it felt like there was nothing on the board. But we added another less than 50 moves, and now the board feels very full. I don't think he has a good way to connect because if he tries anything over here, he has to worry about me pushing and cutting and this group getting into trouble. I still have a cut here to worry about, so it's not completely safe, but I'm feeling okay about the game. We'll see how uh, right I am or wrong when we look at AI. Because he does have quite a bit of points here, if he can play this one. He has this corner now, which is much bigger than before. Um, he has this corner, which is also not small. And I have some territory here and this corner and potential here. So I do feel like if I don't get enough here or some compensation. I could be behind, which might be why he's playing this one. Because he's saying that if he can just kind of push me here, that this is not enough. But yeah, like I said, it's harder to play this way because this is harder to judge. And if I try to do anything where I get cut, even though this side will be safe because I have plenty to run to, this side might not be safe. Yeah, so if we try to count that... I count white at about 50 without Comey. Plus some weaknesses here. And if I just push Hane 
and I just take this and I lose this. How many do I have? I count also maybe around 50, probably a little bit more. So I think the game is still safe if I do that. The only downside is if I play here and then he goes to cut, then I'm kind of forced to live. And I'm not sure I can connect here. So I'm curious if I have time to defend here. And then if he plays here, yeah, it's a bit risky. But I think I have to do this one. And then after I do this, there's still some peeps here. This is not 100% alive. So I think the whole game kind of just comes down to, can he cut here and kill me? Which I already have at least one eye. Um, I have like the Atari here and here to try and get something there. I can run. There's some weakness over here. So it's risky. Um, I think I have to, though. Because I do believe just playing this, I have enough. So he goes here, and if I push on a, he has some things to worry about. I think I can at least push once, create some cutting points. And then the last move. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like he has to cut, but there's still like a push here and here. So definitely some pressure. It would be funny if he's winning and then he plays like one move and then that cost him the game. And yeah, I knew it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and find out who wins and then um, we'll kind of do a review together. Okay, so the results are in. And uh, so it turns out I'm, I'm losing. Um, AI says I'm down by... Um, Depending on whose AI it is, um, mine says around like 13, 14. His is saying like 15, 17, which I don't 100% agree with because I still feel like this is still close enough that if he just makes a few mistakes in end game, then I'm catching back up. And then he still has to attack this, which he could still mess up this area. So, yeah. But, oh, well, I lost. <laughs> and so we'll go ahead and let uh, Triton join, and we'll do, like, a quick review. And, uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, so I'm you want to that. start the review, then? Yeah, sure. You, oh, you were it. starting it, right? Oh, I, I mean, you want me to do it instead? Yeah, you can do it. That was traditionally the loser did it, right? Yes, and that's why you're doing it. <laughs> I would I, I would I would have caught back in one. My strength is in uh -huh. move one hundred to the end. <laughs> no, I'm 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 pretty sure actually you know what, it's not necessarily wrong. <laughs> yeah, so we'll start at the opening here. I think I think the opening it, it doesn't really matter, right? There's there's a maybe we should just go to the first bump down on this KGS graph. Mm. It was this move. 
I don't think that's that big of a deal. <laughs> I, I don't think that counts as a mistake. Yeah, the the first yeah. Uh, KJS is wrong. KJS is wrong. I think I think yeah. none of the moves up till now have really been a mistake. Mm. I think maybe it's a little bit easier for me to invade the top side and try to attack you technically, well, but I think it's still hard to do. Well, that was my point. Is I wanted you to. Yeah, yeah. Because like I don't like playing well K sixteen or L sixteen because it feels like I'm not really making that many points. There's still invasions. So I was like, I'm yeah. just gonna make the area as big as possible, and then if you're stupid, you'll jump in. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, I guess. Yeah, it, it, I don't really want to play any move over there. What I was thinking is maybe you'd want to just go somewhere else on the board, but I guess you probably do want at least one move there, huh? Yeah, because I was thinking if you played J17 or something, and I don't have F14, then I, it I just seems I'm, like it's... I'm just yeah, I'm forced to run. Yeah. And but if I have a move there and, and you did the same, I could attack. He has one move behind now, so it's it's a little different, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm I'm fine with this idea. I don't think I think KGS is just silly. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, let me see here. Oh, this is oh yeah, the KGS AI. I think I should just turn that off probably too. But uh, it wants yeah. you to wedge right away instead of clamp. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. <laughs> I'm assuming I think it, it, it if you oh, wedge gosh. and I don't respond, then you have a better follow up. Mm, I think so. I think it's mostly about Q10 can't get cut off as easily, and then your group is still kind of heavy. And I didn't really have any potential there anyway, so maybe it's just saying mm -hmm. I have more potential well, I think, I think, on the right side than the top side. And I think when uh, when you clamp here, I don't need to respond at all, right? Like this, this, uh, mm -hmm. there's, yeah, there's no need for me to do anything. And that's why I just attached here and tried to figure something out because I mm -hmm. couldn't find a move that I actually liked locally. So I figured attach is good enough. Yeah, I think but, it's uh, fine. I think, at least according to the AI graph, like it's still like even all the way up until like the left side. So I yeah, think, I think, any, I think any, anything, anything here is, is okay. Yeah, it, it just wants, uh, yeah, something something here. It didn't it wanted you to take the corner, I guess, on the a, on the KGS one, but I don't know what the Kadigo would say, but mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I just wanted to keep you separated and I didn't care too much about the points. Because I assumed you would have to go back and live anyway and I'd get sente. So Yeah, well I think I think the problem is that uh, all of these moves are you, you kinda have to respond to each time I extend here. Mm -hmm. I, this is the only part I wasn't sure about is if I wanted to take the corner now or if I wanted to just do the side. I just I couldn't tell which one I liked more. I think the side I like more now that why I not, took the corner. Why not just push? Well, if you if I push here, it's just taking the side. Either one is taking the side, right? But so. here, I feel like I have to respond and connect anyway. And then if you jump yeah, but you out, still yeah, I still have to play another move, right? Yeah, but this feels a lot That's better for you than the game. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I said that I think the side might be better than, than pushing mm -hmm. the corner. Yeah. Because when you played in the corner, I thought that was just a mistake. Like, I don't think AI but, thought it was too big of a difference, but me playing R11, I thought that was just huge. Yeah, I think I think R11 is nice, but I, I don't really feel like it uh, influences the outside as much as it as you, as I thought it, like I thought it might. Like, mm -hmm. like, I always have something here, and there's not really a Sente move against the corner. Mm -hmm. That's why I felt like it was okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really like my the strength of my group is still the same. I think on the outside. Yeah, like I don't think I can ever really do a big attack. Like I think you let me attack yeah. it more than you should have. But yeah, probably. <laughs> but I I thought just playing the push and then jumping out. Like I thought this yeah. was like I, I was I, easier. I I would feel behind here for sure. But yeah, the only thing I wasn't liking is that. You you have a very very large middle area that I'll have to do something with eventually, <laughs> and th and that's kind of what I was saying. And at least when I was playing, was that this this is an easier game for white because mm. like you have all your territory, and yeah. I don't have that much territory, but I have a lot of potential. But if I can't take that potential, then I'm probably behind. And yeah, I th and I think AI, like... and, I th and I think AI doesn't really like influence that much. So no, I feel like really so I feel like it's automatically going to judge AI uh, influence is worse. So that's why I feel like playing against a human, even though it said I was like 
12 or whatever, 15 points behind. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't that much if I'm not playing an AI. <laughs> well, the reason why I didn't necessarily want something like this, I thought you would potentially come back to this side. Mm -hmm. And like it looks like you can build from both sides now, right? Like I have to try to cut you from this side and I have to try to reduce from this side. Mm -hmm. And neither way is making me points, it's just reducing. I was kind of thinking like M15 is just good for white. I didn't. I don't so, I like. If 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 you if I do uh, M15 now, it's like now I just have to make sure I live with that group, right? Yeah, but it doesn't seem that hard to live. And if I kind of just back off and defend with like M17, it just you jump out at you jump at like K15, and then I have a weakness on the left side. And if I connect under, you jump out, and I feel like that's just. Too too easy for white. I feel like you just jump towards the center, right? You attack me. <laughs> Maybe, but I feel like you can still jump out, and then the left side still has a weakness. So I feel like eventually, like that being weak is going to cause it where I I, mean, I get in trouble, and then I just won't be able to kill you. And but I feel I, like if if I'm running out with a weak group right now, your your left side's not going to be weak, right? Um, yes, but depending on the direction I'd push you, eventually it will get weak if I don't, like, kill or connect while attacking. That's what I mean, like, you're, you're in control of the flow of the game right now, right? So mm -hmm. that's why, that's why but, I, I didn't want to do that sort of thing. But there's, you get to choose where to run out. Oh, so your, your goal is to push me in the direction that you want me to go, right? Yeah, but I think it's, it's hard for me. It, it is hard to do. I'm not yeah. saying it's easy. <laughs> yeah. They're saying that you're in control of the game technically in that regard, in that game. The flow of the game, at least here. I know you don't believe in that, right? No, it's, it's a myth. Yeah, I thought this was just too small. I th this is where I thought, like, uh, like, it just felt like I can let you have a lot of these points. It doesn't really matter as long as I can get something on the left side first. Yeah. It's, I thought it was, I thought this was going to be the blue move. Um, and I'm not, I think at least when I saw the AI, it said that this was a, like a negative 0 0.2 move. Okay, so it's not too bad. Yeah, so it's, and then almost anything I could play was, was around that. In fact, I think the blue move is actually L14. So I, I was only one off. <laughs> oh, trying to, trying to get a little bit more, okay. Yeah. But I was thinking, but I was thinking I wanted to play where I could connect under or cut. So I was thinking it was more safe for points, but I guess I should just go for everything. <laughs> well, I think I think as a human that this this feels like a really slow move unless you know you're winning, right? Yeah. So if you if you do think you're winning, I think this is fine. I feel like even if losing, I would still play this move. Um, I would say like. Uh, like if you know I'm if like if if you know that the variation you're worried about is me coming this direction, mm -hmm. then it's also possible to have, uh, oh, oh go back to this thing to maybe even try to head it off on the other side by coming to this side to sort of strengthen that group, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have to worry about that group, you don't have to worry about me running out as much, or maybe even coming from like trying to close it off in some way. You know what I mean? I don't Maybe. like any of these moves, but I was gonna say like that's that. that's it's not my style. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah. Maybe even so, this is, might be a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah, just try to capture the top side. Here, I just feel like if nothing happens, like if you if J thirteen is there, and yeah, or if J thirteen, yeah, that and, down here. Or, one of these moves. Down yeah, here. one of those moves. There we go. So if you still reduce and live, I feel like J thirteen is a pass. Mm -hmm. But. With M15, yeah, that's why I have a hard time with these types of moves too. But with M15, I can see like immediate profit. Like even if you live or take half, I at least get like the points at the top. So, well, I feel like you get the point at the top anyway, right? Well, not as much if you if you can use the forcing moves to live in the center and make Sabaki. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm proud of yeah, it's, it's hard. M15. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think there's nothing necessarily like a wrong with the move itself. I just feel like it's a little slow right now. I feel like I, I want to wait a little bit longer mm -hmm. before I played it, but I guess it's hard to yeah. tell when I would go back and play it too. Right. So, but like it's maybe also, if you like go I said, to the sides, I'd probably do it right away. Maybe who knows? 
And of course, I didn't know this at the time, but I think AI still says the game is even here. So I think it's just the left side, at least most of the game, well, I thought the left side was just uninteresting. Like it felt very low think, value. Right, right, right now, it, uh, the AI uh, thinks it's good for good for white already. Well, at least on, on my AI, it's, it's saying white's winning by two, but to me, two points is even. <laughs> yeah. I was saying, it says, it says it likes white already, so. I don't know the points right now because I'm not looking at the Golax. I'm just looking at the graph on uh, KGS, and it's just mm -hmm. saying that, yeah, it's it's really good for white right now. Yeah. But, well, with KGS, yeah, it's think, hard because um, the graph, even if it looks bad, that it could be two points. <laughs> yeah, it could be. That's why it's hard to say. Yeah. I think I think the mistake was a little bit later, probably the actual um, mistake. Mistake. At least, if there is according really to the graph, it's it's this and uh, this area I didn't handle, so I played the uh, the pincer. Uh, that's when it started saying I started losing. Uh, so up to here, yeah, it's think... even, and then this was the mistake. It wanted me to defend, uh, but I was thinking defending wasn't good enough. Well, I thought uh, when when you played this, I think in in my recording, you'll you'll hear me say, "Is this a mistake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seems bad." <laughs> yeah, because this this felt like first of all, I, uh, you do have a weak group, but even without thinking of the weak group, that's just a small area, and my group mm -hmm. is strong on the other side. So I was thinking, depending on how you defended, I could grow the center. Mm -hmm. And if you can't kill my lower left group, then I felt like I should be winning. No, but it feels like but, if you have to run out with your low left, lower left group, you're not going to get the center, right? Mm -hmm. But it was kind of like just a probe to see what you would do. Yeah. Yeah, I just went straight for your group. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, I was a little bit surprised by this because like... It feels really easy for me now. <laughs> and then this peep, it's sad because you kind of still owe one more move. <laughs> so it feels, yeah, it feels bad. Because I have the clamp if you don't peep. And then if you do peep, as you saw in the game, uh, you did the knight's move, then <laughs> I can still just jump back and I'm, I can connect on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, here, so you like, still... this, this, this was all that I expected. and. I was happy with this because I was thinking I'd get more in the center and didn't care if the 11 died. So like to me, that was like a probe to see what you do. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, D11 dying it is fine because like he, I think even in, near the end of the game, it never, when, when, I, when I saw the AI thinking about the next move when I cut at the end, it didn't mm -hmm. even consider capturing the stone. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, small. So it seems good. Because I can connect on either side. I don't need to worry about the couple of extra points I get from capturing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it just feels like you, you are getting slow, a little bit more here. But you but already I, re are reduced a little bit. Yeah. I, I just kind of think... I think this is where like AI can reduce this super easy. So I think according to AI, this is probably way better for white. But yeah. I feel like for humans... I think this is still even. I think I think this after this, I think the game seems uh, difficult. Maybe I thought this was to me. I thought you were being desperate here. <laughs> no, this this seems good enough because, like, as you saw in the game, when you jump here, I don't need to save that stone. It's just like mm -hmm. your move, right? I was just yeah. like move on the left side. I can give that up, and you have to respond to these moves because I if I cover, I can still capture your stones. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I, I can just push in, and you, you do capture some here, but you don't really get that many points out of it. Hmm. Yeah, here I think I, I probably would have fought back, and I would try to play something like K4 or L4, and then try and connect while surrounding, and just see what I get. Yeah. Because like I said, I, 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 I still feel like you can make lots of mistakes here. <laughs> yeah, which is why I came back here first. Mm hmm because then, uh, did you extend down? Yeah, yeah. Because then at least I have a, some eye shape here. Mm -hmm. And then um, let's just play a, let's throw a random move over here. No matter what you're doing here to the side, you have to prevent me from connecting up on this side. Mm -hmm. And then I, at the very least, I'm very likely alive pretty easily in the center. Mm -hmm. So it felt like it was felt like it was fine for me overall. 
I don't know why this cut here. There you go. And then I cut here just because I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like if you have a weak group, if you have to force yourself to live with that group, then it should be fine. Yeah. Because I'll be able to live with my group. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I would have cut. Like, I was saying you were going to cut there, and then you played it, and then I was like, for sure a bad move then. Um. <laughs> yeah, because I, I wasn't exactly sure how it would go, but mm -hmm. I know you're going to die, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. AI would live, so. Yeah, AI would win. <laughs> so it's good enough. That was actually my reasoning for playing the push and then L2 was I would probably die here, but AI would live. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I can just leave that group alone because AI would be fine with it. No, I think, I think you can live. I mean, even just like even just this Atari, you're already getting mm -hmm. close to living, right? Yeah, I, did, I didn't feel like it should die, but I'm, I'm saying that I could die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should be fine locally. I just wanted some forcing moves on the outside. Mm. That was something that uh, learning from watching all the aggressive people play all the time. Just cut, and then you'll be able to live somehow. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time. <laughs> I still haven't figured it out completely, but I understand the idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's... I don't know. I would have won. <laughs> yeah, so... So I think, but I do think this was this was probably just the yeah that was the that's what that's mistake. that's when it started going down. It wasn't just this one; it was pretty much every move after. It just mm -hmm. I was losing points. So like even with the clamp, I think it didn't like my Hane and the sacrifice. It wanted me to connect at B five. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was I thinking of it as you were too so weak, same. but I'm probably weaker. But yeah. to me, like this I wasn't looks sure worse. if I wanted to. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to jump or just peep it directly or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, I wasn't sure exactly, but I knew that uh, you should be weak here. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to have any problems and I'm going to be able to reduce the center. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would have been fine with this sort of thing too. But yeah, I, I do think that, yeah, I think that this, first of all, if, if you just play this one, it I probably don't want to come back, right? So I'm... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this Probably is. Just pretty, I think center. AI was saying anything here was fine, yeah. as long as I just defend. In any move. But yeah, I was trying to get a little bit extra because I did feel like you were ahead on points, and then I had to do something in the center. Something, yeah. And so I was trying to get a little bit more. But yeah, so I feel like my the thing that I should have done better was definitely the the right side here. I should have just kept kept extending, mm. and I think that would have been. A little bit easier for me overall because I wouldn't have had to worry about any groups at all in the game. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, just this move for you probably. Yeah. Which I get—I don't think it was the move; it was just the thought. The, the idea. The, the right? judgment the idea. was wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but like when I, said, I say moves, I'm, most of the time I'm—I'm I'm not really talking about the specific move move because mm -hmm. it's usually moves are usually associated with the idea behind them. Should try to be more specific then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, like I said, my early uh, middle game is always bad. <laughs> yeah, which is why we wanted to do this too. It's one reason. Yeah. You can work I'm on gonna, that. I'll, I'll, I'll improve it and then you'll never have a chance to beat me again. <laughs> I'll never have a chance. <laughs> I'll never have a chance. That might even be true. That well, actually one, might yeah, even one, be true. One, once I fix my early middle game, you're just you're lost. Like you might as well quit. Go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm a little surprised about what you said with for the uh, for the AI uh, progress report though. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that I was actually doing that well. Yeah. I was trying to play just basic moves. That's all you do. You you don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, and it works. And AI AI, loves AI likes it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm not even sure when you could have fought back either. That's that's the problem I had with this too. Because mm -hmm. like, if there was a way for you to fight back on the left side, I think it would have been fine. Mm -hmm. I think I was thinking the peep. Instead of the peep, I was thinking attach under might have been better. Just this right now? Mm -hmm. And you just... Uh... I'll sacrifice more stuff. Well, I, th I think I can play like <laughs> B6 first, but... 
I don't know. I was thinking. I think. I think. If, 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 if I take the points away and then I still live, I think that's better for me. So I think it would have been better to try and go for points on the side than to go for the center. But I think I'd be fine with this sort of result because I'm my goal is the center here anyway, mm -hmm. and I wasn't even planning on getting any points on the left side. So I think this would also be better for me though. Um, well, depends. Like, not sure. I could technically. There is technically a co here if I really wanted to try to fight back later. Mm -hmm. So I guess I guess that's the only thing, the only reason why I'd be I, like, I feel really like you, fine with it. I think you have more, um, you have less co threats. Like I have stuff like in the upper left corner. There's some stuff in the yeah, but I don't I don't right need corner. to. I don't have any loss from this co though. Is what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a flower co right. Yeah. So even if I just get one big end game move, I think that'll be fine. Because mm -hmm. all you're getting is a big end game from the co. Mm -hmm. but I feel like it's the same like I think I can just respond to everything because I have more code threats so I, I'm not sure if you'll even get that one big end game but maybe we have to eventually Tanuki anyway right because if you play a code threat that's not big enough I kill two groups potentially <laughs> mm, yeah but if, it, if it's much later in the game like I feel like it's a, it's a code that'll be there for a very long time <laughs> well I feel like I actually feel like right now you should capture <laughs> Honestly, mm -hmm. so I, I mean, mean, I would have, but I don't. I don't yeah, yeah. feel so, like it's. So if you left it, loss. I think it's. I think if you left it, I think it would be, it'd be good for me. So that means like, like I'm fine with this because I'm getting sente from this, and you're not damaging yeah. anything that I have really. Mm -hmm. And then I can just play somewhere like normal in game maybe now. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I don't really want to invade the top. So big though. Like, like, it feels like there's nothing really urgent. It's like, so whoever has sent to here, it doesn't seem that important. Well, just I get first end game yeah. move, basically. Yeah. Which is never matters. <laughs> no, yeah, end game doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I can I think. I think that's of. about it. Yeah. 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 I think the video's already going to be an hour. So. <laughs> oh, don't worry. My, mine won't be an hour. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Well, you're, you're going to edit your video. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm at least cutting out the big pauses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll probably try and do that. Because um, I, I don't worry. I'm not worried too much about uh, like cutting out everything. I think that's fine to leave some stuff. But yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's about it. So I'll see you all next time.